good evening and welcome to our show, Spotlight on Students. Today, our topic is students being youth ambassadors from the Caribbean. I am your host, Shakira Samuel. Today, we have with us... I am Ashley McClure from Jamaica, the land of dancehall and reggae music. I am Cavell, and I am from the beautiful island of Trinidad and Tobago, popular for pan and soca music. I am Sean Tauram, the Dutch-speaking country Suriname. Thank you very much. What is something that has surprised you since arriving to the United States? Well, since arriving to the United States, the fast food restaurants, their portions are like this large. They're enormous. I can't believe it. <laughs> what is the influence of the American culture in the Caribbean? I would have to say that we are influenced heavily by fashion, looking at the magazines, trying to keep up with the trends. We are influenced by music. BET, we look at MTV, VH1. We are also influenced by what is going on in world news with, you know, everything that's happening in Washington right now. So we are pretty much influenced a lot by the American culture, positively and sometimes not so positively, but yes. I think the influence of the Caribbean in my country is Barack Obama. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but usually, the more, the, more, the more impact that the United States have of the Caribbean, so-called Suriname, is like many things. So I think it's probably youngsters, uh, scholarships, that probably is the kind of Caribbean thing, yeah. Thank you very much. Can you please tell us some of the challenges youths faced in your community? In my community, one of the major challenges um, uh, relates to young people in schools who are very delinquent. They come to school and they are involved in a lot of violent behaviors and that's something that I would hope to be more you know engaged in trying to help solve that challenge. Um, since I've been on the Youth Ambassadors program I have learned a lot about dealing with young persons so I know that when I get back home I would be able to use everything that I've learned in this program to help with that situation in a lot of the secondary schools being a mentor as well as a counselor at a school. I think that I would be able to engage young people more in terms of helping them find themselves and not turn to violent and aggressive behaviors. Yeah. Also to add to what Carver said, the lack of parental guidance in some communities in my country, it has affected the, the nation tremendously because the lack of parental guidance it stems from teenage pregnancies, which also stem from the lack of parental guidance. So it's like this cycle that is going on and on continuously. And if we don't step in, we cannot do anything about it. So the problem that is facing my country the most is the lack of parental guidance for the youths. Very true. I'm on the same line with Ashley because it's the really thing that the parents go out there and that is have an influence of the youth in my community too. Sean, as a youth ambassador, what do you think can you do to make or create a powerful impact on the youth in your community? So as a youth ambassador, I think it's the very first thing is leadership. Come up with a gathering of youngsters, provide them the skills that I have learned about this program, the Youth Ambassador program. And I think you need to do it socialize, so like using the Facebook, because Facebook is very, the, most, the most important thing in a teen life, and that is what I call Facebook. <laughs> And if I, had, if, if I won't make an impact, I just would do it like a video, and a video putting it, giving them like a I am taught and showing them on Facebook. And I think that will, will impact the youngsters of, community, of my community as a youth ambassador. Yes, I would agree with you because technology is very, very, very impacting on our youth. Because Facebook, Skype, Twitter, all of these things, it's 
crazy. So I think that it will be a good uh, way to help to spread the message to our youths and also to others, like the older generation, although you don't know to use the technology that well. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Cavell? I, I agree with Sean and Ashley. We actually had some discussions between ourselves this week saying that we would probably link together in our region to bring together some sort of film or video that can, you know, push forward our positive perspectives with regards to some of the challenges that people in the Caribbean face. So hopefully we would see some film and videos coming out from this Youth Ambassadors program in the different communities, in the different countries, collaborating it together and really trying to make a bold statement out there. Because people usually say that young people are just up to no good, they're just lazing around, watching TV, eating ice cream, but we really want to show them that there are a lot of young people who are bold, who would walk forward with purpose in life and we definitely think that we would have that role in our yeah. countries. Thank you very much. Please join us for a short presentation. I am a black woman and I believe in compassion, truth and freedom. I live in a third world country and I have a first world mind. I am a young Jamaican woman and I believe in self-value. I am a Conky Joe, a bright-skinned Bahamian. And I am a powerful black woman who struggles and fights for what she believes. I am an African Guyanese citizen. And I'm honest. I am a black Jamaican woman. And I have a powerful voice. I will speak for the weak, the voiceless, and the victims of our nations. I am a trendy black guy. And I'm the future president of my country. I am a Guyanese young woman and I want to be a microbiologist. I am a black Jamaican man and I'm the change my country needs. I am a black Grenadian woman, and I am strong. I am a Lance Corporal in the Trinidad and Tobago Cadet Force. And I am not violent, I am a peacemaker. I am a strong Jamaican woman, and I can do anything that a man can do. I am a black man, and I am determined to achieve my goals. I am Marissa Miller, and I believe I can achieve my dreams. Thank you very much, and welcome back. Do you think youth can collaborate in confronting some of the issues young, young youths face in the region? In my community, they have it like that. Um, the youths are like depending on what you are sending for, for them. So they usually don't go like the re religion thing like that. I don't know of this or this one like Ashley or Carfell. So I want to hear their <laughs> them opinion too. Well, I think that youth can collaborate in changing this world, and in particular the Caribbean, because youths, they have a very strong voice, a voice that some of them, they don't recognize as early as they should. And I believe that if we collaborate, we can make a difference. We can start community projects, service projects. We can also not focus on the external projects, but also the internal projects, using our voice, listening, communicating. Those are some of the things that we can impart onto others in our society in order to make the Caribbean a better place, and in particular, the current or respective country. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but that's that's only an opinion because I, I don't usually think that you have, like you say, the external and the... Yeah. But I think of the better way is if you 
gather the youngsters about probably like not only listen but yeah. motivating them yeah, motivation. and bring them to uh, them like a uh, one step beyond yes motivation included also because yeah when you use the internal and external project we have to motivate them in order for yeah. them to actually take that first step to make a change so that's included <laughs> Cavell what are some of the stereotypes people have about your country and why aren't they true okay I would say people have a stereotype about Trinidadians that some of us who are from certain areas, one of the areas being Laventil, that if you're from Laventil, you are into crime or you're into gangs, and that if you're from that area, you would not amount to anything. But that is definitely not so. A lot of my friends are from some of those very sad areas, and they went to university with me, and some of them are even doing postgraduate studies. But that is one of the major stereotypes of persons from some areas in Trinidad. And I would say that it's something that is, we are really pulling away from because more and more you see a lot of scholarship winners from those areas. And a lot of them are from single parent homes. And it just again goes to show that Although persons are from single parent homes, it doesn't mean that they would not be educated or would not be able to be a bold leader. So that is one of the stereotypes that I think we are trying to pull away from in Trinidad. What do you want people in the US to know about the Caribbean? Well, I would personally like persons in the US to know that the Caribbean is a wonderful place. It is culturally diverse. We have the food, the music, the arts, and the people, they are very welcoming. Yes, yes we are. Yeah, <laughs> very welcoming. Yeah, we are, we are, yeah, actually we are. Yes. Yeah. And I would like to tell them that you can come to the Caribbean anytime because our hands are wide open and we're very welcoming. Yeah. <laughs> what do you cherish the most about your Caribbean counterparts. This week I interacted a lot with Ashley from Jamaica and Sean from Suriname. What I love about Suriname is the fact that sometimes you pass on the corridor and they are speaking to each other and I'm like what are they saying? They are speaking in Dutch and I'm so jealous. I'm like ah, oh, yeah. I could only... Saratomo? Saratomo. Saranatomo. Saranatomo. It's actually the second language beside the Dutch. Yeah. Sara <laughs> right, that. Right, so in Trinidad we can only basically speak English. Some okay. speak Patwa, but yeah. that's what I love about Suriname. And what I love about Jamaica is the Jamaican accent. Jamaica, Jamaica. Jamaica. So I'm, I'm trying to learn a little bit of the Jamaican twang. This is all we have for today. Thank you, Ashley, Carvel, and Sean for joining us. For other information about the program, our student experiences, please visit www.boliga.org. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you for having us. us.